So how much is the t-shirt industry worth? Well, if you can see right here, look it up on Google. This is using AI, but we can go and it's gonna get its information from like right over here, Printify. But it's basically saying 38.8 .8 billion in 2022 is only going up from there. It's expected to grow annually by 5.41% over the next four years. And the market is, is expected to, this year in 2024, hit 45 billion in revenue. So this is definitely a market in industry that you need to look at and you can make money with just creating the designs for t-shirts and get a slice, just a smidgen of a slice of, of the piece of the pie. And you could make a full-time income doing this if you do it the right way. I'm also going to, we're going to go and see how you can actually start doing this and how you can research the market, research what's going on Etsy. And then we're going to go and uh, create some designs and take a look at what released today on August 26th, 2024, Ideogram 2.0 or Ideogram 2.0 just released. And this is a specializing in text to image model. They've increased uh, the quality of the text to image model and text on images. So we're going to go, and this is default, automatically defaulted to anybody that's using it. I do have a paid account. You can see the text is really coming out strong. We can create some great designs in here. But what we want to do is we want to go over here and we want to go funny t-shirt or funny shirt. And we want to go and start looking at what's selling some different things. You want to be careful with selling t-shirts and borrowing from anything that's popular. That's like a name brand or a movie or an album cover or an art, a music a musician or artist. When you use other people's stuff, you can get your account banned. So that's not the way to do this. Even going into some of these presidential type political shirts that could be very iffy on the longev longevity of your account. So I wouldn't mess with stuff like that. But when you have like this moisture, then an oyster or just these different ones that my people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to idiots that needs work. I may like, so these are the kind of quotes that you want to go after and look at. And what you could do is like this one right over here, we could go click on it. It's obviously selling, right? You can come through here and you get the best seller badge. So you already know this is selling multiple copies per day. Two people bought this in the last 24 hours. Etsy gives us all the data that we need and then all of the different reviews as well. So what we can do is they already nicely wrote this out for us and I, I don't really recommend copying. Now this isn't a, a famous quote so you can definitely use this if you wanted to. But what I would do is, is that I would get a notepad out or something and I would just go write it down. So we're gonna write that down. We're gonna go ahead and copy this. And there's a couple of different things you can do. So we can go over to ChatGPT. I've also got a paid account there as well, but you can use free. You'll get access to GPT 4.0 or the 4.0 mini. You'll get those access to that. But I like four legacy model because it's still the highest quality that you can use. But what I'm gonna say is you can either do this, change, change this by 10% and then paste that quote in. And then we can say my interpersonal skills are adequate. It's my patient with fools that could use some improvement. So there you go. We just changed fools. We changed idiots to fools, patients from to, to tolerance. And you know what we can do? You could even say you changed too much. Just change two words. So you can get this the way you want. My people skills are just fine. And where's the original one? My people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to idiots. It's my tolerance to fools that needs improvement. So there you go. So you're literally changing this up. You could also say something like this. You could say, give me 10 more quotes that are super funny, catchy, witty, like this. Boom. Okay, so now we've got all these quotes that are gonna be created for us using ChatGPT, using artificial intelligence. I'm not arguing, I'm just explaining why I'm right. These are really funny and we're not copying uh, famous names or quotes because that's gonna get your account banned and taken down. Don't uh, believe me, We've I've literally gone through this and had accounts banned, so you don't wanna do that. And so what we'll do is we'll just stick with what we had over here. We'll take this one over here for the rest of the tutorial. Then we'll go over here to Ideogram and then we're gonna go and what I like to do is just go and see if we can create some really cool stuff. So what you could do is you could actually browse through and see some other designs 
that are text based, right? So like something like this in September, we wear gold. <clears throat> so I'll just show you how you can do it. So this one is like great for a t-shirt, right? So we click on that. And then what I would do is I would open up our document. And then what we would do is we would look at the prompt and then we would look at even a magic prompt. You can use both of these. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. The prompt that was used, we're gonna copy that. We'll go back in to here and we'll paste that prompt in. So this is a place where we can get prompts and we're not using Midjourney. Midjourney's great. I'll do some other tutorials on Midjourney, but this is a great way to use a tool that's not Midjourney that we can just operate in. And then what we can do is we can go right over here. We can actually grab the entire thing here, the entire quote, and we can replace this in September and we can paste that in right there. And right here, I'm going to put with tolerance, American flag in the middle. And we will just try and see what we can come up with doing this, right? So we'll copy this and we'll come back in and we'll just go up here and paste. And then what we'll do is we'll make this a, probably make this a one by one and you can choose the model. We want the latest model, obviously. Color palette, we can actually change the color palette right here as well. And we're gonna use just auto, but that's cool. They've preloaded it with color palettes. That's new as well, I believe. And then what we can do is just push generate. So we're gonna go generate this, we'll be right back. Cool, now we're done, you can see what we have over here. We can also click on the logo up here and we'll be able to see it a little bit bigger or come up here, just go up to your profile. And you can see I use this all day long in all kinds of different channels that I manage. So I definitely use this tool, that's why I'm aware of it. But look at this, my people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to, and then right here, my tolerance to idiots that makes that needs works. This one, it needs a little bit of work, but this is pretty cool. You're using the American flag. It's like patriotic and you're being funny as well. It's a long quote to do this. Maybe we want smaller text down here, but this definitely gets you started. We can go look at this one. This one's cool too. The people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to idiots. And then it said two idiots that needs works. So we're going to need to fix this a little bit. This one did really well. My people skills are just fine, but then it had this little badge up here. And then it's my tolerance to idiots that needs work. This one was almost perfect, but again, we're missing just a little bit right there. And then what you would do is you would just keep doing this until you actually get it right. I don't really like this one. So we would keep going with trying again. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here and I'll, we'll just go do this again. Why? We'll go find another one. Maybe that's pretty cool right there. There's this one right over here. Let's try this one. I'm gonna take the ma magic prompt. So if you want it to be exactly like that, you just take the prompt over here, but the magic prompt should be even better. So we'll copy that. We'll go down over here. We'll paste that in. And then you just need to read the prompt, the t-shirt design with the text right there. Let's just take this whole thing right here. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna replace with this. If you want it in all caps, it'll do it, but we're, we don't want it in all caps. Written clearly, the background is a vector illustration of tractor trees. Cool, so this is the part that you would change if you want, but you've got this nice prompt right here. Now we're gonna copy that, come back up here to the prompt box and paste that in and push generate. And we'll be right back. So let's go take a look at our design over here. So we've got some white ones. My people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to idiots that needs works. This one did really well. And you're catering this to, I don't know, the rustic country feel, the farmers kind of market. And it's pretty cool. This actually seems like something that would work well for a small market of people, right? So this one and the text came out perfectly. And then all you have to do over here is you could actually just go and push the upscale button and we can do all kinds of things with the upscale. We can upscale from here as well. So this is like my new favorite tool that you get extremely great images with text on them. So this works great for t-shirts and for uh, logo design, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go take a look at a couple other ones right over here. So we've got this one, my people, it tries to tell you what, when it says cover right here, this is image will be shown as the cover image for the generation. It almost tries to use AI to pick the one that it thinks is the best one, the highest quality one. And I'd, I'd say it usually is about 70% right. It, a lot of times it does get it accurate out of the four. It is the best one a lot of times, but look at this. My people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to idiots that needs work. That's pretty cool. All right, so then we can go look at the black shirt designs. My people skills are just fine. 
and here we go. This one, it's coming out really good. So you can see how the difference between the two prompts and this one, that other one was just not as clear. We were trying to get an Amer uh, American flag in, in, in one of the words and stuff like, those are pretty complex. It's not gonna, it, it might take a few runs to, to get what you're looking for. You also might wanna look at maybe this tractor, it's a little weird right there. But overall, this looks really good. And so far, three out of three, every single text is right. It's getting it right. So this is just creating these. It used to take you 10, 20, 30 minutes, up to an hour to create this from scratch in Canva or Adobe or whatever tool you were using. And now at the click of a button, we can create these very easily, really good stuff. Let's go take a look at this one. <clears throat> this one is super cool too. It's my tolerance, it is. So all, every single one of these could work on a t-shirt and sell. So that is how you do this, guys. You can go do this so much. You can create these and then you what you can do is you can go back over here to funny shirt and then you can say funny shirt, the PNG or the SVG. So we can go, let's just say uh, funny shirt PNG. So people selling the SVGs or PNGs for this right over here. And you can sell these for $1.47.99, right? So you can come over here and you can grab, put together a pack like this, right? So here's funny quotes SVG bundle. But you can actually go over here and create uh, these. If you've created them from scratch, you can actually create and sell this whole bundle right here. They're selling this whole bundle right here for 99 cents, 20 in the cart. This is a hot item. It's a bestseller and so forth, right? So that's how I would do this. That's how you can come in here and hit this multi-billion dollar market. $45 billion market this year. You can use a tool like this. They're gonna give you some free runs, but it's just about $8 a month for their first upgrade plan. I recommend using that. And this is just a super easy way to create these designs using artificial intelligence. And this looks really cool. And then you can also control the color palette if you really wanted to. But yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.